what's going on guys in this video we're gonna learn how to uh, find penny stocks before they explode so uh, <clears throat> guys I think personally speaking this is a timely topic for everyone as the market is down so most of these good stocks are currently trading you know somehow under five dollars under a dollar and uh, specifically speaking they haven't been trading in that uh, specific price before so we will try to check and see I will try to uh, guide you in how to find these penny stocks but first guys if you like the information and analysis I'll be providing in this video please hit the like and subscribe button so guys this video um, is uh, divided into three parts so we will try to uh, check what is a penny stock second is how do we use screeners to find these stocks and third is how to read read SEC filing so those are the three things that we will try to uh, tackle in this video first why do we need uh, we need to know what a penny stock is of course uh, we need to understand why are they are there so definitely they are there for a reason okay so how do we find them some people even myself when I was when I started uh, dealing with stocks I don't even know how to use a screener I don't even know how to find them so I'm gonna guide you through that and third is has something to do with your preparation as far as dealing with these uh, penny stocks so first we will try to know how to read SEC filings okay so we will try to uh, check the psychology of what is the current news regarding that specific stock so we'll try to definitely guys if um, there's always a news okay so something's gonna happen okay now of course all of these has something to do with their SEC filings in the past or in the future and the current price action where you can actually read that regarding what's happening exactly with the stock or that company so we will try to check on those guys so um, make sure guys you are hanging on and uh, let's get right into it so guys keep in mind proper preparation prevents poor performance so once again that's proper preparation prevents poor performance so guys uh, we will try to get the definition of uh, the uh, penny stock according to investopedia so a penny stock here is a stock that trades for less than five dollars a share and belongs to a small company though some penny stocks are traded on major exchanges like the new york stock exchange the major the majority are traded over the counter through the electronic otc board or the privately held OTC markets group. OTC transactions do not have a trading floor. Quotations are also completed entirely online. Penny, penny stocks used to be defined as any stock that traded for less than a dollar a share. The Securities and Exchange Commission in the U.S. has changed the definition to cover all shares for less than $5. So the Securities and Exchange Commission is an independent federal body tasked with protecting investors while ensuring the fair and orderly operation of the securities markets. Penny stocks are usually are typically linked with small businesses and trade infrequently, implying a lack of liquidity and available buyers in the market. So that's the main reason why you see uh, other YouTubers actually pumping uh, stocks because uh, there's not enough liquidity going on with the stock and available buyers in the market as a result it may be difficult for investors to st sell stock because they may there may be no buyers at the moment investors may have difficult obtaining a price that correctly reflects the market due to a limited liquidity moreover key takeaways so a, a penny stock refers to a small company stock that typically trades for less than five dollars a share so guys this is a new definition before if you uh, they talk about penny stock it's usually less than a dollar a share but now the new definition is if it's five dollars a share then now it is considered a penny stock although some penny stocks trade on large exchanges such as nyse most penny stocks trade over the counter through the otc bulletin board or otcbb while there can be sizable gains in trading penny stocks, there are also equal risks of losing a significant amount of an investment in a short period of time. Guys, keep in mind these penny stocks are there for a reason, okay? They are not there to actually make you rich. They are there to raise capital. So the, the company is raising capital. They wanted to uh, make their company public but of course uh, before you can go through, ma ma through major exchanges there's a lot of requirements regarding that so that's the main reason why these penny stocks are listed in the pink sheets so one of the examples that uh, we have on that and those kinds of stocks are the stocks that was endorsed by Leonardo DiCaprio in the uh, movie Wolf of Wall Street so guys if you have watched that now you should actually understand what are these kinds of stocks that are included in the pink sheet the only downside regarding these penny stocks that is listed on pink sheets is the lack of information available to the public. So, guys, if you've seen YouTubers pumping stocks like ILOS, right? 
stocks uh, stocks such as that although you can actually view them on the charts the only problem is you don't have enough information regarding these kinds of stocks so which makes it very very risky so the pros and cons of uh, these penny stocks they offer for the pros they offer a place for small companies to gain access public funding in some cases penny stocks may provide a method to gain access to a larger marketplace listing like i said the some of these stocks they don't actually stay in the pink sheets for a very long time once they are done with the requirements they can start trading in huge exchanges like nasdaq and nyse with a lower price penny stocks a allow for significant upside in share appreciation so the cons is penny stocks have a lack a liquid market with few buyers perhaps even after the price has increased so they are highly manipulated they have a lot of uh, insider buying and insider selling that we don't have any information of the li there's limited information available on the company's financial record because guys first of all if we take a look at this statement Okay, so it only means that they are not even required by anybody, any uh, any uh, <coughs> securities body for them to submit financial information. So also, penny stocks have a high probability of fraud, bankruptcy on the underlying company. Okay, the main reason regarding that is uh, they would hire some a good media company for them to be able to raise capital. They would pump the stock with some good press release then they will dump it to the company or the stockholders after so guys uh how is penny stock created small companies and startup typically use typically issue stock as a means of raising capital to grow the business although the process is lengthy issuing a stock is often one of the quickest and most effective ways for a startup company to obtain capital like i said before guys these penny stocks they are not there to actually make your pockets thicker they are there to raise capital so keep in mind that even elon musk before he wanted to make tesla private because he thinks that tesla will thrive on its own now we have a news that uh, elon musk wants to make twitter private because twitter is already a profitable company and there's no need for him to raise capital okay so stuff like that keep in mind once again these penny stocks are there for companies to raise capital so guys, uh, that will be the overview of what a penny stock is. Also, penny stocks could be traded during after hours depending on your broker. So you can buy the penny stocks pre-market hours or after hours. Uh, basically, in my own uh, trading platform, which is uh, well simple. I don't, we don't, uh, we do have some penny stocks, but in this case, if you live in US, then definitely you have uh, to go go and get uh, other platforms. Like I said, for you to be able to. Uh, uh, buy these penny stocks so guys recently you can actually see youtubers pumping stocks right um, and uh, probably some of you have already is now a bag holder uh, on these stocks because you haven't checked you haven't waited you haven't done your due diligence regarding these stocks so yeah you can see a lot of youtubers uh, pumping the stocks uh, they were asking you or they're trying to uh, put into your mind that oh this company is a profitable company in the next five years in the next three years the next two years in the next few months so you can see them i can tell you guys 100 percent their portfolios are down they, they could be down i i don't know so this is just my personal opi opinion so the uh they, they are pumping stocks or they uh you're probably just listening to them so the most important part of this uh video is for me to show you um, how to find these stocks, right? And how to uh, capitalize on the information that you will actually get from reading all these uh, SEC filing, right? Like I said, proper preparation prevents poor performance. So guys, now that we have understood what a penny stock is, we will now go to the second part of our video, which is how to find these stocks, how to find these penny stocks. Now I am here in uh, Finbis. So guys, Finbis is a uh, friendly uh, software that has a lot of colors, right? Um, any new beginner can actually uh, go and uh, browse Finbis. So if we uh, go to a screener here, click on the screener and we just click on all. So that's the first thing that we'll do. Now, uh, market cap. So the first thing that we'll try to consider is the market cap. Usually they are, these penny stocks are under micro. So we'll go to micro and the price, since we are looking for a penny stock, it should be under by $5 based on our definition and a 52 week low. So guys, I'm considering 52, peak, uh, 52 week low right now because uh, because uh, uh, this almost uh, every stocks are currently down. So like I said before, uh, these stocks are bound 
for a retrace so if it's down definitely it will be like a spring boom it will actually uh, spring towards new highs or you know towards uh, uh, a good uh, a good price action so we will go to the 52 week low so we will try to uh, 5% above more or 5% uh, or more above the low right so these are the uh, three stocks of course the industry uh, we will leave it as is uh, if it's up to you guys if you want to use uh, and select uh, US stocks only or you can go and select uh, any country that's uh, that's fine okay so uh, one of the things that I like with uh, penny stocks is first is the volume no volume no price action that's number one keep that in mind guys so um, some a lot of a lot of uh, traders nowadays are momentum traders so if you want to trade penny stocks in a small time frame then you probably might want to look at volume now if you want to hold it for a longer time frame then we want to go and check the uh, fundamentals of the stock and that's also important analysts always talk about uh, the uh, fundamentals of the stock so volume so we can cl clearly see here guys that we have a lot to choose from there's like 45 pages so we don't want that you want to go and check on the volume volume there you go so we have uh, options now uh, one of our first option is blue apron holdings incorporated so we will try to check these in our charts so guys currently uh, we have a uh, blue apron holdings and uh, we can clearly see that uh, the volume for the stock right now as of uh, 8 43 a.m is soaring it's like 24 million volume so like i said these are the kinds of stocks i like because uh retail investors right smart money is piling up in the stock so in the future if in case new news or new information comes up with this stock they already know what's happening meaning this specific stock is not new to them so if you click on the aprn that's the ticker symbol of the stock scroll down right so these are the stats so these are the stats of the stock so we want to know the uh, market cap right so it's only 101.5 million shares uh, on a float so meaning this is the uh, number of shares that uh, people can actually uh, use to trade in the stock markets is uh, 19 million okay so if we scroll down a little bit more guys we can clearly see here the news or uh, the uh, recent uh, press release regarding this specific security so it says here Blue Apron shares soar after 70.5 million in capital investment and refinancing. So this is from Market Watch. So using Finbis, guys, you can also get uh, additional information regarding what's happening with the PR. So if we click on that, this article is from Market Watch. Okay. So basically, it's uh, basically speaking, guys, you can actually uh, get information from uh, Market Watch just by using Finbis. Okay, so scroll down that. There's one more article. It says here, Blue Apron announces $70.5 million planned capital infusion through debt and equity financing. So these are PRs. We don't know for sure who initiated this PR. Maybe uh, they could use, they are just using a third party PR to pump the stock or they're using a third party uh, institution to actually relay the right information we don't know that for sure that's the reason why i will teach you how to actually go to sec to their sec filing and check if there's any information regarding that we will try to browse the things we need to get from the sec filings also guys so you can also check in finbis the uh, ratings of the stock whether uh, the analyst ratings and also uh, which analysts have initiated a position i mean uh, ratings with the stock so according to uh Finbis, the uh, stock itself is has a rating of a buy of $18 a piece. So this has been a long time. It's it was initiated on July 20, July 30 of uh, 2020. So that's a long time ago. If we go to a market watch, guys, you can access all this information. So you can go to market watch, you can go to market beat, or you can go to Yahoo Finance. So according to market watch, guys, uh, the uh, public float of the stock is 17.1 million later on we will try to check that with their sec filing if you scroll down here the number of ratings is uh, i mean it was done with uh, one full rating of a buy okay so that's the uh that's the uh according to uh, finbees that should be a uh, canaccord gen with t now guys since we now have the stock that we want to check in uh, the uh, sec filing like i said uh, the main important uh, the recipe for you to be successful in finding these penny stocks is proper preparation so uh, we uh, will just go to sec filing and the sec so if we click here just go to sec filing 
Okay, so SEC filing, here you go. So Edgar, right? That's the uh, US and Securities and Exchange Commission. So we want to find out what's going on with APRN. If this is something that uh, we could uh, buy uh, and hold for, for the future or if this is something that we can buy and hold temporarily. So they have one SEC filing uh, on uh, April 29th, 2022. We'll try to check on that. So uh, we're here in the SEC filing, guys. Uh, we have, uh, there are things that you need to consider here. Uh, first is uh, 8K. So if we click on that and you scroll down, you will actually uh, come across this, how to read an 8K. So it says here, a company has just released its quarterly earnings. Another company has uh, auditor news that could raise red flag. And a third company is filing for a bankruptcy. Where can you find more facts? Information about these events and many more are found in a document current report called an 8K. Form 8K provides investors with the current information to enable them to make informed decisions. So that's the thing, guys. These informations, if uh, this information, if uh, you go want, if you want to trade OTC stocks, you can't find the uh, financial information in the SEC. So meaning you are just trading uh, OTC stocks blindly. But if you want to check the fundamentals of these penny stocks, right, um, you might want to consider stocks that are below $5 and is already trading in the major exchanges like NASDAQ and NYSE. So another thing to consider here is how to read a 10K or a 10Q. If you want to follow or invest in a US company, you can find a wealth of information in the company's annual reports form 10k and quarterly for reports from a 410q so uh, guys if they are trading already in major exchanges these stocks are required to file to file an annual form 10k and quarterly form 10q so there's a lot of stocks that uh, there's a lot of companies that ha that is currently delinquent on these requirements and that could end up that could end up them being delisted in major exchanges Okay, but uh, some are just delayed. They ask for extensions. So if you're looking for stocks like CEI or Sundial, right? Um, you can find all this information, guys, uh, from uh, their Form 10K or Form 10Q. So guys, uh, if we go to their 10K, uh, we would like to know whether these uh, companies, are, this company is a profitable company. So we just go in uh, Control F, right? Then click, uh, I mean, uh, type in revenue. So in their 10K, we just keep, uh, keep on uh, pressing enter. Okay, it's because, uh, guys, the uh, problem with uh, short sellers or, you know, analysts is uh, they would downgrade the stock because it's not fundamentally healthy. So, we'll uh, keep on uh, pressing OK. Now, you can uh, actually uh, see the revenue that from uh, 2020, we can clearly see that uh, they have increased their revenue. This is So, this is in thousands, it says here, to uh, $10,000, something like that. Okay, so... It says here that uh, if we scroll down, okay, average uh, revenue per customer. We define average revenue per customer as per our net revenue from our meal, wine, and market market and products sold on e-commerce. By the way, guys, uh, of course, uh, you have to make sure that I, uh, first of all, uh, we uh, should know also what kind of stock are we uh, trying to obtain here. So APRN is a cyclical uh, product, right? So if we go to uh, Yahoo Finance, so we'll try to uh, just go and uh, check the uh, data regarding the uh, stock. Click on Yahoo Finance and uh, we want to find out uh, what APRN is all about. So Yahoo Finance, so APRN, APRN stock price. Okay, so you just want to know the overview regarding this stock exactly. So because it says they are wine and stuff like that. So we want to know what it is. So here in Yahoo Finance, you can clearly see, guys, that uh, there is a uh, tabs here. Just click on profile, and now uh, they are in the consumer cyclical section, internet retail, and you can see the description there. Blue Apron Holdings operates a direct to consumer platform that delivers original recipes with fresh and seasonal ingredients. Okay, though, so that's the description of the stock. Now in this uh, SEC 10K, we want to know their expenses if they are. Uh, uh, actually, uh, if they do have a lot of expenses due to their operations, so just click on Control F once again. Very easy, guys. Control F. Okay, scroll down. So we will know if they have uh, 
a lot of expenses so it says here the total operating operating expenses is uh, 541,494 so uh, they are they personally speaking they are not a very profitable company because they have more expenses rather than the uh, revenue that they have so that's a big red flag right there also guys we can also find here if there's any warrants that's available for the stock now the warrants are these uh, these are what these warrants they can exercise at any time and dump to investors like you and me so it says here as of february 15 2022 mr sandberg and his affiliates beneficially own an aggregate of 16 million shares of our outstanding common stock okay uh which collectively represent 38.7 percent of our outstanding stock these shares under the shares underlying the warrants are only entitled to voting rights upon exercise so meaning guys they do have warrants outstanding that people are ready once the stock price go up they will immediately dump these shares into the market or into retail investors like you and me also guys what's important with the 10k is uh, you know the uh, in the in your brokerage of platform you can't actually see the exact uh available shares for the stock so you can clearly see here that as of february 15 2022 there were 32 million five hundred thirty nine thousand eight hundred seventy one shares so this is the available shares um, available for the stock but we don't know for sure how much shares are available for trading now guys one more thing there's an s3 available for this stock this is a prospectus so if we click on that this this is a prospectus for additional uh, possible dilution okay so if we scroll down here okay this is an s3 so this is like a share offering it says here blue apron blue apron 236,016 shares of common stock so this prospectus really relates to a resales of shares of class a common stock issuable upon the exercise of outstanding warrants issued in a private placement to us to the selling stockholders pursuant to a financing agreement by and among us blue apron llc to our holy subsidiary the lenders party there too so <clears throat> I'm not gonna read the exact uh, the whole thing guys so basically on april 15 they filed an sec filing for a prospectus this is a proposal okay so now on april 28 guys uh, they have a uh, made another filing which is file number 333-264-329 so it says here notice of effectiveness that will be on april 28 at 4 30 p.m meaning um this is <coughs> effective on uh, this effective on uh, thursday last week and they want this uh effective right away if we click on that and that is this s3 filing okay so at this point since we have read the uh, sec filing right we have now um determined that this specific security is a potential pump and dump so they have that pr they will uh, pump the shares then i mean they will uh they will uh, uh actually uh, <coughs> uh release all the shares in the market okay because of this s3 filing then uh, they will create one more good news okay one more good news if uh, we go to your finbis you can clearly see guys that uh there's a uh, good news regarding the stock okay you can uh go to uh, if you can access it through finvis you can go to webull and access that information regarding aprn okay so just go to your webull just click on news midday mover blue apron share search on updated turn around strategy so that's uh, how it goes guys so they need uh, additional capital they need additional um uh, money to to fund uh, their company and uh, they are now providing additional shares guys the uh, main purpose of this uh, video is for you for for us to uh, avoid being a bag holder right so if uh, you go check on uh, youtube right people yeah you know youtubers pumping stocks so you see these guys right they uh, tell you what kind of stocks that they really like they're trying to pump the stock well technically right uh, they're probably uh, bag holders for this stock okay so even me when i started uh, investing i got uh, into a hype uh, into uh, amc the main problem is i don't know how to read the 10k the uh, 8k right the 10q also the uh, resistance support i don't know how to uh, read the uh, 200 ema uh, whether the stock is falling once it breaks the support stuff like that okay so i hope this uh, would help you in finding out these uh, stocks uh, once again guys um 
hopefully this uh, information will help you out if you are planning to find these stocks on your own okay now if you have any questions make sure you put them you put them in the comment section below okay i'll be i'll make sure to answer them for you because uh, besides these uh, three basic stuff there's a lot of things you need to know regarding the stock you know you know you need to know psychology right you need to know uh, the EMA is right there's a lot of things and slowly i'm uh, trying i'm uh, actually finding that out and uh, so this information is very very basic and a lot of people is not telling that to you you know even the youtubers right they uh, they knew that the stock itself it's down but of course they since they are bag holders right they will pump the stock okay they thought that the stock you know i mean that the uh, that uh, the uh, the volume will increase by when people start watching their YouTube uh, uh, video stuff like that. So, guys, I hope this uh, information would help you in the future. Thank you very much. Like I said, guys, the most important part of trading or buying an investment is proper preparation, which will prevent poor performance. Okay, so uh, we want to know what's happening with APRN as a security, right? So we want to know if this is something that we could buy um, and hold for the the long term. You know, when uh, as far as uh, because not I mean not everyone is actually uh does not everybody has time to go and check these charts. Um, right away right uh, or uh, while they're working so the main important guys is uh, we know how to read you know basic basic you know uh, resistance support so for me personally you can also go to yahoo finance and uh, uh, check these graphs or charts or you can go to webull i like using webull this is a free software from webull guys like i said earlier i'm using wealth simple okay so so say for example you want to hold this trade for the very moment you'd like to be included in this short squeeze this is not a short squeeze guys this is a potential pump and dump okay so you have to manage your risk okay that's how it goes so if so if you read the chart we definitely gapped up so from a friday right uh there is a price that uh close at 3.024 now we uh we want to break that down okay we want to break so this is the price this is a four hour time frame guys so we want to break this down in a 15 minute time frame so we close at this price so basically all oh you know um in the past few months this uh a specific security has been trading sideways okay so if you want to you want to check the support so we have a very huge support at three dollars and 29 cents now some people right they are not reading they are not uh looking at the form 10k or 10q and see what's happening exactly okay so now are uh, we because uh, we started reading the s3 filing in the sec website now we all know that this is a potential pump and dump okay so uh, in uh, the future videos or if you've been watching my other videos guys uh, i have discussed uh ag's capital corporation that they are currently on red flag with the sec because of these kinds of malpractice okay so if uh, we check that this is uh the price on a 429 the stock market closed now it gapped up now we have a potential support here okay at around three dollars and 95 cents so guys if you have entered the trade in that kind of price and you want to manage your risks make sure you are taking profits okay so if uh, it has already uh, gone up to four dollars and 12 cents and you have placed a substantial amount of money with this certain security make sure you are taking profits that's number one right because like i said um this specific security is moving because of good news and number two because of volume volume is very very important okay also the rsi you can clearly see guys so technical so rsi guys the way you read rsi is if it's below 30 or above 80 so below 30 is it's over uh sold now if it's go, it goes way beyond 80 that's overbought okay so um so in this scenario guys we are overextended now in this stock we are now slightly overbought meaning there's a lot of people exchanging hands with this stock like i said earlier the most important part once you st uh, started reading information regarding the stock is make sure you're taking profits always protect your profits if we haven't uh, uh if we haven't read that we didn't know that it's a potential pump and dump okay <sighs> Now, guys, uh, we have uh, learned three things today. We learned how to use Finbis. We learned how to use uh, uh, your uh, 10K and 10Q, right? We learned how to uh, actually uh, go and check the current news. Now, guys, if you're not satisfied with the uh, news that you can find online, Webull also provides news, right? So just click on the news tab and you will actually see the current news articles regarding the stock.
Okay, like I said guys, if you have any questions, just put them in the comment section below regarding on how to find these penny stocks. Okay, like I said, uh, the most important part, okay, even day traders, they make sure that they prepare their stuff before buying any security. So once again, proper preparation prevents poor performance. That's proper preparation prevents poor performance. Guys, if you have learned anything in the video that I have posted today, if you like the information and analysis I have provided to you in this video, Please hit the like and subscribe button. Once again, this is your boy, Don Leo Trades. I love you all. Peace out.